and we lose. Yay! What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves10yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What's going on guys and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today on this Monday. This is going to be a bit of an odd week for us. We got Thanksgiving and all that. So just keep that keep that in mind. If you don't see a ton of vi uh, videos for us later in the week, that's probably why. I am trying to pre-record for things like the uh, challenge week and all that though, uh, just so we're, we're on track with it. But let's talk about today's deck guys it's a it's a boros maniform hellkite list so i saw this and i really really love this card this is a new one from uh crimson Val. maniform hellkite four mana four four with flying whenever you cast a non-creature spell create an xx red dragon illusion creature token with flying and haste where x is the amount of mana spent to cast that spell you exile that token at the beginning of the next end step so yes they don't stick around but uh you can really go crazy with stuff like this you can build that up very very quickly uh and that's the idea with this list we've got a lot of very uh interesting instants and sorceries that we're going to shoot for so we've got play with fire just a nice little removal spell of course uh we've got thundering rebuke going to deal with a lot of things on the field as well but also again hopefully spit out a 2-2 We've got Reckless Impulse. This is going to allow us to continue playing extra spells from the top of our, our deck that we may not be able to because this is going to probably get into top deck mode fairly quickly. Uh, we also have Alchemist Gambit, uh, a nice way to get an extra turn if we can. Uh, and for only three mana, if we finish the game off very quickly, which is very possible, uh, it's kind of okay if we if we have to play it for three mana that that's all we might not lose the game um we also have angel fire ignition just a crazy crazy good spell in my opinion uh and it does have flashbacks so it's got some longevity as well uh showdown of the skulls is in here gonna give us again a little bit more longevity exiling cards and allowing us to play them we've got reckless storm seeker a great way to get in there for some damage very quickly uh it does give haste and flips quite nicely uh, we've got Bloodthirsty Adversary, which again is a really nice way that we can play some of those extra instants and sorceries and have a really big turn uh, very quickly. Uh, we also have Voldaren Epicure here, which is just going to deal one damage to each opponent and then create a blood token, but that blood token is actually quite good for us as well. We can discard things like Angel Fire Ignition, still have it available to us thanks to the flashback, but draw further into the deck. So we've got a lot of little techie tools and things like that that we might be able to utilize. We do have Den of the Bugbear as a three of as well. I did not create this list. Unfortunately, I don't have it pulled up, so I don't remember who did, but it is on Aether Hub. So I just want to point that out that I did not create it. I'm not trying to take credit for it. It's a very interesting list. Just thought I'd, I'd try it out here. So let's give it a shot, guys. We'll send it through a few games. We'll have some fun. Let's see if we can get some wins. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, and this is a bit of an interesting one, <clears throat> only because it's a bit of a slower hand, actually. Uh, we've got a lot of land and some of the bigger stuff. We'll try it. We'll see if it goes well. Uh, this is going to be a learning experience for sure. So uh, that's actually quite nice. I'll reveal this. It doesn't really matter. But uh, on the off chance, they think we have a play with fire or something like that. It's nice for them to consider playing around it. Uh, sure. All right, um, let's throw you out. I think we go ahead and throw this out there. Um, if nothing else, we don't particularly want anything to flip. Uh, if you have a game like this, turn create a blood token, sacrifice two. Okay, that's how that's gonna flip. Interesting. Okay. Reckless or restless blood seeker. Uh, I haven't actually seen this card played yet. Um, I'll block here. Chances are they've got a spell, but I mean, that's fine. yeah okay so then they get to create a blood token that's kind of okay with me uh that's a little a little interesting all right let's play the storm seeker they basically had to like two for one not two for one but go a little above and beyond just to gain that life and get that blood token and they wasted a lantern flare on a tutu essentially that's fine by me uh i'm cool with it what we're doing here is really setting up the the maniform hellkite we've got the storm seeker that's going to allow it to attack in quite quickly um 
Now that's interesting. Uh, all right, let's do this. Let's just throw it out there. Gonna give it haste and we are 100% attacking in. Uh, very powerful turn, obviously. Next turn, we've got the Thundering Rebuke to take care of the Bloodseeker. Theoretically, we win this next turn. And there it is. Wow, very efficient. Okay, that was a very, very quick game. Excellent, excellent. Let's move on to game two. All right, guys, here we are for our second game. And again, this is a bit of an odd one. We've got the Stormseeker, but these don't do a ton for us in the, the early turns of the game. But you know what? Let's, again, let's give it a shot. I want to see how this deck performs in those kinds of scenarios. So let's do it. We could go ahead and throw a Sundown Pass out early. We've got the planes that we can drop this turn. Um, and let's let's try it. Let's see what happens. This may not go well. That's fine. Um, okay, the snarl is definitely a good one though. We can play that out. That's a little scary. Not gonna lie. Uh, but hopefully we can we can find ourselves a little answer for it. Let's drop this down. Let's go ahead and play the storm seeker again. This makes every other creature we play from here on out better. So we do want to get that down and get aggressive with it as best we can. There is the Lotus Cobra. It's going to be a good turn for the opponent for sure. They get an extra mana. They get to up that Brushfire Elemental. It's such a good card. These Landfall decks are very powerful. Uh, oh, thank goodness. Oh, that's very, very good. Okay, let's throw you down. Let's give it haste. Uh, and let's get an attack in here. Shouldn't die next turn. That's the hope. Uh, if we don't, we should be in okay shape because we can drop the Reckless Impulse, hopefully get something off of it, and then we're in really good shape to be able to win the game. They're just gonna attack. Wow. Interesting. Um, interesting, interesting. Okay, so let's throw this down. I'm gonna throw this down. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's throw you. That has haste, so... It's an attacker. Um, doesn't actually matter what we throw it on here, and we just attack in. Why did they attack last turn? That was really solid. <laughs> that was really, really good. All right, uh, another very efficient win, and we ranked up because we're awesome. Let's go ahead, let's move into game three. All right, guys, here we are. This is a very different hand than what we have been seeing. We do have the Thundering Rebuke. The Angel Fire Ignition, not great in the early turns of the game when we don't have a creature to play, uh, but we are gonna, we're gonna try this. We're gonna see. We've been doing okay so far, uh, and I really like this deck, so. This has been fun. Let's go ahead and throw out the Epicure. Now this does take off Thundering Rebuke, but this is a sorcery anyway. We weren't going to play it, so that's fine. Um, interesting. Okay, so a little worried about what this deck will be because Demir is obviously quite a strong little color pairing and could be very good. Let's try and go for this. I highly doubt this sticks, but let's just see. They can very easily kill this, I'm sure, or just counter this or whatever. Also voice crack, that was weird. Sure. Uh, the nice thing about that is we don't just lose the Angel Fire Ignition 100%, um, so I'm kind of okay with it. That's less than good, but it is what it is. Um, let's do this. Uh, let's, let's get that out of there. Let's just see what we can draw. Um, another epic here, sure. I mean, we're gonna play it, we just kinda need to play things. So again, these make the Angel Fire Ignitions at least do something, which is good. Uh, and we can activate this if we'd like, um, but I'm not really worried about doing it right this second. We can always discard the Gambit. Sure, we'll let that resolve. A little worried about what this could be. I mean, if they get a Hellkite, like, we're we're done <laughs> we're very very done but uh that is okay all right we got this um first couple games man went very quickly those were really really solid games i like that oh this is okay didn't know this was esper well i guess they stole this land i'm sure didn't they hmm don't like that um all right let's I'm gonna do this. All right. Uh, interesting. Let's do this. 
Uh, we've got so many of these, so <laughs> let's do this. Uh, and let's get in there for an attack. That does give haste, which is quite nice. Uh, and the counters stick around, which is really cool. Um, now chances are they just get to sweep here. Yeah. Uh, so they picked antelope. Oh, I love that. Uh, yep. There's a play with fire. Um, I mean, we might as well. We get the scry off of this as well. I'm gonna ditch that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna discard the... Actually, I guess the Thundering Rebuke is the right call, because... Seriously. Uh, because this isn't a creature deck, so chances are they're not gonna have that much that they can play. Obviously, they can steal stuff with the Siphon Insight, but... We drew another Thundering Rebuke, so I guess we can kill it anyway. <laughs> um... Interesting. Unfortunately, these are basically useless at the moment. Um, we'll try and kill this. Chances are they've got a counter. But I do think we need to. Uh, this has a lifelink, so eventually that just kills us. Don't counter. Okay. That's not a counter. Now they do steal a card, but it's not a counter. That's pretty important. Unfortunately, we are burnt out, so we need a showdown or we need just some kind of like, oh, okay, well, there we go. Now we're super dead. All right. Uh, yep. That's terrifying because now they just are going to siphon insight a couple times, get a bunch of, oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Yeah, dude. Um, worth noting, we can't actually cleave this out. Uh, that's just something to, to note. Fortunately, we were just drawing Den of the Bugbear a lot. Um, I mean, we'll throw this at him. There's nothing really else that we can do. Um, they probably can just kill this. Yeah. Good news is they lose this token at the end of the turn. Uh, so at least they wasted it a little bit. Not wasted it, but you know what I mean. Yep. That's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> sure. We're just gonna do it. <laughs> uh, this doesn't actually work. Um, let's do this. Just for the fun of it. Um, I mean, we're dead, so it really doesn't matter, but... I mean, it's cool. We die. Uh, that was rough. Unfortunately, they stole our best card. It is what it is. That's fine. Uh, we can't win them all, you know what I mean? So let's move on. Let's do another game here. We got some time. We got plenty of time, really. So let's do a game four. All right, guys, here we are for game four. Uh, this is a pretty easy keep, actually. I like this quite a bit. I um, guess we just throw this out and then we have play with fire up. Uh, so if this is an aggro deck, we've got the play with fire with the bloodthirsty adversary later. Looks like it may not be, which is a little worrisome, um, but it's all good. I'm actually going to go ahead and haste in there. This is a bit much of, well, I say a bit, it's a very aggressive play because we're not utilizing this to its full potential, but with it being in the opening hand, I'd like to go ahead and get some, some pressure going so they feel they need to do something about it. Oh, this is Death Touch lane. Ugh. Such an annoying, an annoying deck. Um, alright, let's throw you out. Let's throw you out. Uh, I guess we should have Reckless Impulse first, but that's fine. Could have played the land off of it, but let's go ahead and do this now. Alright, cool. So next turn we've got planes plus epic here. I mean, that's pretty easy free spells basically, so we just need to keep the pressure on them. Uh, so drawing things, basically drawing extra cards off the top of our deck, gar not guarantees us, but hopefully helps guarantee that we've got some amount of removal for these little guys and that kind of stuff. So let's play you, let's play you. Get the blood token down. Uh, let's play another one. And let's play this. 
There's the Hellkite. That's fantastic. Okay, so we've got Hellkite plus planes next turn, and we also have a draw still, so that's, I mean, that's pretty good. I'm kind of intrigued by this deck, though. This is quite an interesting one. I don't normally see Wizard class with the Death Touchers. Normally, this is a different style deck. Um, I mean, it's a Finn style deck, but like, this is interesting. So, regardless, we need to keep creatures off of their field because normally they have Blizzard Brawls and stuff like that. They can deal with our creatures pretty easily. Oh, fascinating. Okay, so uh, this is actually funny because well, they, yes, do just get to trade um, at some point with this. That's kind of okay. Uh, wow, interesting. Very interesting block there. Um, again, I would think they'd want to hold on to every creature they can at the moment, but maybe not. What? Broken wings? Okay. Sure, dude. Uh, that's a weird one. That, I feel like, shouldn't be in the deck, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to discard a Sundown Pass here and just draw a card. Thundering Rebuke is... Rebuke, wow, is great. Uh, just going to keep these Death Touchers off the field. Simic Death Touch. Interesting. Um, all right, let's drop you. Let's drop you. We are just going to get the, the Regent, or the Hellkite down now. No reason not to. If they've got another Broken Wings, like, they're investing most of their turn into it, and then we just have Angel Fire Ignition to hopefully kill it. So, or to kill them, excuse me. So I don't really, I'm not worried if they killed the, the Hellkite. I really love this card, though. This card is sick. Um, I do think it has legs in, like, a Is It Controlled list as well. Um, but this is obviously a much more aggressive path. It's just a starting point for this kind of list, I think, but it's quite good and well thought out. And again, I didn't create it. I'm just, I really like this. Um, okay. This seems like a very inefficient deck. <laughs> uh, this doesn't seem that great. Um, I'll play the land. Uh, what this allows us to do is, I mean, I guess we, yeah. I mean, we're just going to double up here. No reason not to. Let's attack in. And now they're almost dead. Um, and chances are they only can play one spell this turn. <laughs> we also just have the Hellkite coming down next turn. So like, uh, this is weird. This is such an odd layout. We also just have Den of the Bugbear that can win for us uh, as well if we'd like. Or can help us win here. They've got one green mana available to them. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Um, I guess we Thundering Rebuke as well, just because. Just kind of a safety precaution, if nothing else, but it gets rid of the Drake. And there we go. We got the win. That was a weird game. That deck did not seem super, super great, uh, which is fine. It doesn't have to be, but just interesting. Let's do a game five and then we'll end it there. Uh, we're only at 20 minutes and these go very quickly. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are for game number five. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I like this hand quite a bit. It's pretty good. Um, curious to see how this ends up going. All right, let's snarl. Sacrifice it. Oh, okay, so this is going to be a, like a white weenie style deck. Interesting. Okay, let's drop this. This does a lot for a one drop. I've talked a lot actually recently about how one drops just seem so overpowered lately. Um, they're just really good, which is awesome, but it's just kind of crazy to me. That was an interesting play. Um, I guess we play another Snarl just because we've got it. Um, we'll do that. Uh, Again, if we've got it in the hand, I feel like it's okay to throw this out. I don't know that just holding on to this for the hope of doing something really crazy later in the game is the way to play it. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. I want them to sacrifice, so if they decide they want to sacrifice their 1-1 one -one, uh, for this, that's fine, because we do have removal. Um, and the problem with this is it gets around removal, so we're just trying to get them to sack stuff, essentially. Um, so I'm all too happy with them doing that. Oh, uh, yeah. This is going to get overpowered pretty quickly here. Um, no, I guess we don't because we've got Angel Fire Ignition. 
Uh, let's impulse first. If we get a land off of it, we can just play the lands. Yeah. Um, I am going to do this now. I need to get further into the deck here, because uh, we're just drawing a bunch of lands at the moment, which is not great. Uh, I think now maybe we block, because this is going to get out of hand pretty quickly here. Uh, a little worried about that. Ooh, very good. Okay. I mean, this is just a nice, efficient Selesnya deck. Like, you can't tell me this is bad. <laughs> like, this is just a good deck, man. Um, I think we need to block now. I guess. I really don't know. I think we just are going to end up dying to the fact that we don't have very much. All right, let's throw this out. Which is fine. Um, let's throw this out. Yeah, we get haste on this. Um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see if we can make it a turn. I don't think we can. I think they just kill us, but that's fine. Um, again, I don't think we're winning this game regardless. I think this is pretty much a, a done deal, but that's fine. Um, Again, you can't win them all, but this is a pretty sick deck. I really like the, uh, just the efficiency of all this. Seems really nice. Oh, very good. Look at that. That's interesting. Why is this in here? Do they gain life in this deck? Oh, this gives lifelink, I guess. I don't know. That's different. Um, all right. So we're going to take a big hit and then next turn we're just dead. Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, there's a den. So we do that. Give it haste. Um, I'm trying to think if we can set up an extra turn win, but we can't deal 18 points of damage in a turn. There's no way. But let's do it. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, um, <laughs> let's do this just because. I mean, we can't win it, so that's this is all fine. Um, play you, play you, and then we die. Uh, we do create a blood token along the way, which is cool. Give this haste, and we'll attack. Yay! <laughs> I mean, it's fine. We can't win. It's cool. The opponent's really considering, though. <laughs> they really shouldn't. Um... Alright. I was gonna say, you should just take the damage. Uh... And we lose! Yay! <laughs> I love Alchemist Gambit. That's funny. Alright, let's chat about this. All right, uh, so Maniform Hellkite, a very sick card. I love it uh, a lot, actually. I think it's very, very good. This deck, I think, is hit or miss, but I do like it. I think it's pretty solid. I mean, you get a lot of benefit from having the red and the white in the list. Um, you've got the burn, but you've also got the Angel Fire Ignition. If anything, I would just like to see that you can play the Alchemist Gambit without losing the game immediately. <laughs> Um, but that's okay. I think, I, truthfully, I think this was a pretty solid deck. I don't think it's amazing, but I do really like it. I do encourage you to try this one out as well. I think it's a fun one. Uh, and give me some other Hellkite ideas because I want to keep playing with Hellkite a lot. I think this card is sick. So I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like or subscribe if you are not already. We do have a giveaway finishing out this week, so do keep that in mind. Uh, and guys, I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Have a fantastic day.